So a quick follow up to what I was doing before. You can check out my previous video of how to access the fuse box. So with regards to sagging suspension, what you're gonna wanna do is come over to the fuse box and right over here, you're gonna pull the fuse box down a little bit. This orange fuse that I have standing up, you're gonna pull this out. I already had mine out, so I'm just showing you the location. And when you remove it, if your fuse looks like this in the middle where the bridge is not connected, that means that your compressor has failed, your air compressor has failed. Subsequently, what you need to do is replace this fuse and replace the compressor. The reason why this blue was because the compressor is on its way out. So you need to replace the compressor, the relay, and the fuse. Hope this helped. Maybe you could get a temporary remedy, pick your car up, like and subscribe. All right guys, so after you change that 40 amp fuse and you wanna get the car to lift up, cause you may think that wasn't the solution to your problem. What you wanna do shortly after, is you wanna come here to the right side of your vehicle in the trunk with the ignition off, key out and so forth. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this tab right over here. While pulling that tab, you're gonna pull out this this piece just by pulling it up top here and this will give you access to this then you'll have this this foam panel right here and you're just going to set that aside and you're going to be looking for the small 10 amp fuse right there all right so right there what you can do is you're going to pull it out and put it back in and what that's going to do immediately you heal the hear the pump activate and when the pump activates the rear suspension will go back up but this will help you further just diagnose what's going on so since that fuse is blown you know that the air compressor is on its way out or it had to overwork meaning one of your airbags is leaking your valve body's leaking or your compressor is low so when you do that you know you got to do the further diagnostics make sure that none of your bags are leaking once again and your valve box not leaking and then you can proceed from there so let me know how it works out for you guys hit that like and subscribe